Hi, I'm Jim with Unstuffed Music, and I'm here today to do a demo of the Blackstar HT20 MK2. The Blackstar HT20 MK2 is a 20 watt, two channel, tube driven combo amp that can produce everything from chiming boutique cleans to on the edge crunch or full on distortion. Featuring a single 12AX7 preamp tube, two EL84 power tubes, and a single 12 inch Celestion 7080 speaker. On the front panel, you'll find a single quarter inch input jack, then controls for the clean channel. Controls for volume and tone are augmented by a voice switch. Voice one gives a bright and tight tone with a solid bass response. Voice two gives a highly responsive chime with a looser, resonant bottom end for a British tone that can be pushed into a mid-range overdrive when driven hard. Moving over to the overdrive channel, we'll find controls for volume, gain, three-band EQ controls with bass, middle, and treble, and finally Blackstar's patented ISF control. This exclusive feature shifts the EQ curves of the amplifier's bass, middle, and treble controls. Finally, we have controls for the newly voiced studio quality digital reverb, master volume, and a push button that allows you to take the amp from the full 20 watts down to a more bedroom friendly 2 watt function. On the back panel, we have the mains input for power, a single 16 ohm speaker out, which is used for the internal speaker, or outputs for two 16 ohm external speakers or a single 8 ohm external speaker. Next, we have an emulated speaker out where you can switch between either 412 or 112 emulation and a headphone output. Next up, we have the effects loop and a switch for plus 4 dB or negative 10 dB functionality. Lastly, we have the input jack for the foot switch, which is included with the amp, and a USB out that allows you to interface directly with a laptop or desktop computer. Get yours today at instuffmusic.com and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now we're back after the technical specs. Let's give a listen to the clean channel first on the strap with some single coils. Uh, as you can see, I have the voice switch out. Um, so we're gonna go through the sounds with both of these. And if you look, I've got the volume set at about noon and the tone set at about noon. I apologize, I have to stand to see this because we're shooting this from the top. Um, so here we go on the neck. Volume pretty much wide open on the guitar right now. Here is the neck and the middle. Here's the middle. Here is the middle and the bridge. Here is the bridge. Have the tone rolled off a little on the bridge as well. Here's the full tone on the bridge. Now, voice one on this amp is kind of almost like a boutique sound. Um, the bass response is tighter. Uh, for voice two, what we have is it's a little chimier and there's a more resonant bass response and it's a little less tight. So let's go back to the neck and hear what we have here with the same volume and tone settings. Here we go.
Now, what I can do is this channel can be pushed into breakup. So I'm going to kick up the volume of this channel, bring the master down a little bit so I don't blow my level here. And we're going to kind of hear a, a bit of a, a blues sound. Here's the middle pickup. So you can hear I'm going into a little bit of grit there. So I can kind of get this thing happening a little bit. Then of course I can clean it back up with a little of volume control on my guitar. Roll it down. And of course it's not sparkling clean, but it's still nice and responsive. I also have a little uh, delay. I have a JHS uh, analog delay in the loop. So let's hear the loop engaged uh, with this tone. So if you use channel one to push into breakup, with that chime, you can definitely kind of get that sort of vibe happening, which is, which is really cool. It adds a lot of versatility to the first channel. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to switch it over to uh, the Les Paul again. We're going to hear some overdrive sounds on channel two. Okay, now we're back. Let's listen to some overdrive sounds. You can see how I have the amp set. Voice switch is out. Uh, ISF feature is north-south. Here's what we got. Bridge pickup. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the ISF control to zero, and that's going to give us some more of an American response, is what they call it, so let's listen to that. So the mid-range is a little more aggressive, and the bottom is a little tighter in this set, uh, setting. So let's keep that same setting and let's manipulate the voice control.
Now let's go back to the original voice setting and let's take this ISF control all the way to the right. So here, what we're going to have is a more British sound. And I'm sure you all know what that means, so let's give that a listen. Okay, so let's keep it on that setting and hit the voice control. Let's give this a listen now. A little brighter, those mids are jumping out a little more. Kick that delay back on. I had the delay in the uh, negative 10 dB setting, in case you're curious, because as I mentioned in the specs, we can go plus 4 or minus 10 dB. Uh, in the loop. So last thing I'm going to do here with the overdrive channels, I'm going to show you how much gain is on tap. And these Blackstar amps uh, never lack for a lot of gain. You can definitely push these into metal territory. So let's crank our gain up. We're going to put this ISF uh, back in the middle to get a nice blend of the two voices. And I'm going to actually scoop my mids a little here and bring the low end up. Uh, let's see what we have. I'll go at about 75% on the gain. Turn my delay off. Here we go, bridge pickup. Still pretty controlled and nice and tight, even with that's a ton of gain. I'll kick the delay on back. So a really gainy sound, but still really focused. Uh, let's listen to this amp now at 2 watts. You can switch this amp down to 2 watts with this button right here. Let's take it back to kind of a moderate gain setting and kick this mids back out a little bit. And let's listen to the gain channel down to 2 watts. And let me just increase my master volume a little bit so we can hear that 2 watts setting because of course it's going to be a little quieter. It doesn't feel real squashy at 2 watts, which is really nice. Let me just bring the master up a little more. So 
So this amp plays really nice, especially if you're in a home environment or you're just practicing. You don't want to be blowing the doors off. Uh, really works well. Okay, that was the Blackstar HT20 MK2.